The Suzuki Jimny, a beloved mini off-roader, is about to give birth to a bigger sibling with an extra door and an extended wheelbase. Just in case you forgot, this adorable 4x4 is called a K-vehicle in Japan. Its dimensions are 3,395 mm, 133.7 inches, in length, 1,475 mm, 58.1 inches, in width, and 1,725 mm, 67.9 inches, in height. While the international version, Jimny Sierra in Japan, is marginally roomier, it still doesn't have adequate back doors or legroom. Thankfully, there are rumblings that a derivative model that is more realistic is on the way. According to a Suzuki official, who was mentioned by the Japanese website Odok1, the five-door Jimny will be released in 2022. The October Tokyo Motor Show was the original planned debut event for the vehicle. Unfortunately, the event has been cancelled as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, as have many others of its kind. The official name of the car, according to reports, is Jimny Long. A 300mm, 11.8 in, wheelbase extension is also in the works to accommodate the new name. As its dimensions increase, the Jimny, which is suitable for families, will get heavier. Suzuki plans to add a more powerful engine to make up for this. Adding turbocharging and a modest hybrid arrangement was supposedly done by factory engineers. There is little doubt that these alterations are not free. The Jimny Long, according to Atakwan, will cost roughly 300,000 yen, RP. 39.1 million, more than the Jimny Sierra in JDM specs. The only significant change to the exterior will be to the front grille, aside from the back doors, there will be few other cosmetic tweaks. After a remodeling, the section's current 5-slot vertical configuration was replaced with a single horizontal bar. Curiously, there are rumors that Suzuki is purportedly working on a more costly version of the Jimny Long that will resemble a smaller Mercedes G-Class. Nevertheless, you shouldn't take this data seriously. Next year, Suzuki will likely release the Jimny Long alongside a mid-cycle update to the existing three-door variant. We should expect to see both of them in Japan before they make their way to other markets across the world. If the engine is going to be electric and turbocharged, I hope the car can pass the emissions test in Europe so they can sell it again in the passenger version. Only the two-seater commercial versions are available on the Blue Continent for now.